Hi there and welcome to another craft session with me, Bev. Um, Evelyn's not joining us today, she's had a tiring day at school. Um, so today I thought I'd show you how to make vegetable prints. Um, we're not just going to look at potato prints here, which is what I used to do when I was a child. Um, we're going to look at all different types of fruit and vegetables. So here I've um, cut a pepper and we have some corn on the cob. I've got some broccoli, um, I've cut up a lemon, um, what else have we got? We've got some cucumber um, and various other bits. Um, so you'll need a piece of paper and also some paints. I'm using poster paints here but you could use acrylics or um, whatever you can find in the house. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do here. Um, so I have a plate with some paints on it. I'm just going to wang some different colours on there. Um, I've had a bit of a test run already to see what we can do. Um, um, I also used a paintbrush just to help me get the paint onto my different vegetables. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have a pink background for this one. So I intend to use this paper that I'm going to print on um, for wrapping presents. Um, but I might end up framing some. Or cutting them up in cutting the pictures up into gift cards. Um, you could also use them as present tags or anything like that. Um, I've seen this method being used on t-shirts and bits of fabric. You, if you can get hold of some fabric paint, um, then that's also a, a good way for you to utilize these lovely vegetable prints that you're gonna make. So I've painted my corn and I'm just gonna roll it on my page there. Oh, lovely. Some really good prints from that. So I'm just going to keep going then. Adding paint to my different vegetables. Um, and I'm just going to layer them up on this piece of paper. I have to keep on reply, applying the paint every now and again. I'll probably get a couple of rolls or a couple of prints out of each coating of paint. just trying to cover all areas on the paper. Um, it's handy if you've got a cloth nearby just to wipe your fingers because this does get a little bit messy. But mess is what we like. Okay, I'm going to get my citrus fruit now and do some printing with this. I think I'm going a bit tropical with these colours today. Okay, so this is one example then of printing. If you can see, I've done it in, in, in quite a, a rigid pattern there. Um, and then this is another one that I've done. This is also in quite a rigid pattern. Um, but you can start to see the different effects then that you get from the different vegetables. This is um, a pepper. Um, I rolled a carrot there that I'd... Um, put splits into um, and then the and then these shapes then we've got the 
the rolling of the sweet corn and the peppers and the citrus fruit on that one. And I'm just going to keep on going with these, really. Are you joining us? Do you want to do one? Okay, then. Should we get you a seat? You can do all of the paper. I guess this is a really good um, method if you um, if you do journaling for your backgrounds, for your pages. I'll make you some space here. Um, but yeah, just keep on going with it. Um, like I say, I might cut these down and make gift cards out of them or or, or use the paper for, for wrapping gifts in. It's just a really unique way of um, of giving greetings to people. Um, yeah, so I hope you have fun with this. So Evelyn joined us and she's had a little go at printing herself. Do you I've want to hold it up? I've done them sweet corn print and cucumber bear and everything. And some pepper yeah. and some citrus fruit. Yeah, and lemon and carrot. Lemon. And then what are you going to do with this? Let it dry and then do the other one. Are you going to do some more? Yeah. Don't finish it yet until I've done all of mine. Okay. It's going to be really long. Alright. Put it down again. Um, wait a minute. So, um, so we hope you've enjoyed this video. We're um, not we're finished gonna, yet. We're going to carry on, aren't we? I'm not finished yet. Yeah. Can we keep on doing it? Yep, yeah, we'll keep on doing it. But don't stop the video. Don't do it.